Victoria saying she's not taking everything. So how could we work this out so that you each get some and feel happy? One of the things we've created over the last few years in pre-K at Charter Oak is a problem-solving chart. And we all have them in our classrooms in English and Spanish. And we even have them outside. It walks children through the steps. Oh, is everything OK over here, Nathan? Do you need this chart? The first step is to identify how we're feeling, and we have some examples ready. Angry, hurt, sad, how did you feel? Then they identify what the problem is. So that part is really hard because they don't always have the words to articulate what the actual problem is. Because he was taking mine, and I just feel so sad. You felt sad because he was taking yours. And then we'll that. come up with some solutions. You could say, please stop, or you could say, I'm having a turn. You could take a turn later. What do you want to try saying? And then the final step is, how do you feel now? So you're OK? So we've worked through fun. these three steps, and now do you still feel mad? Do you still feel hurt? Or do you feel happy and better? We feel happy feeling better. Oh, so do you feel happy, proud, or grumpy? So we recognize that children might not feel better. They might still be mad after a problem is solved. I feel happy. You feel happy? How about you, yeah. Lori? Originally, it sort of started so that all the teachers, paraprofessionals, people coming in the classroom all had a tool to use with children. Are you angry about something? <clears throat> and ultimately, our goal is that they're able to work through those problems on their own. What's wrong, Pre-K Petunia? Sometimes you can't even figure out why you're grumpy. But then, Pre-K Pete, I see you need the problem-solving chart! And Pre-K Petunia, you know what she said? I use the puppets as a reminder for the problem-solving chart. I found that is more effective when everyone is calm and unrelated to the time when something has occurred. Grumpy. To visit it with the puppets. There are many times where we noticed that children were not really able to problem solve because they were too upset. So we found they need to calm down first when they get to that place. We can say, I notice you're not ready to problem solve. Do you need to go to the cozy corner? Because we have a problem solving protocol, our students know that their problems won't be ignored, that when a problem comes up, We'll work through it. You have enough slime. Jacob has enough slime. Nora has enough slime. Rory's making curtains of slime. Whoa. Spider webs. Spider webs. Perfect.